Yeah, I think I think this is pretty good for like the rush to to mid games. Um, I think we can start moving on to golems. Do you want to do B8 first? I mean, since this is like the recommendation would be to start on B8 and then move yeah. down to B7. Oh, definitely. So I have tested out on B8 where you can just use a water sign and a water lat. However, it takes forever, so I wouldn't really recommend it. Okay. It's just showing how easy B8 golem was. Um, in terms of trying to farm it. They can two-man it, like the whole thing? Uh, I did have a water mona in there actually, so it's more of a three-man, but the water mona died, so the water sign and the water light was actually two-manning oh, yeah. it. Actually, the water mona died in the first wave, so yes, the two of them were actually two-manning the entire thin dungeon. All actually, right, which all is right. <laughs> Um, later on, you really don't want a water lat at all. Well, mm -hmm. given the fact that if your DPS can one-shot the mob, then you can bring a water lat or something that brings defense break on a three-star skill, because, you know, three-star skill defense break normally slows down a boss run, just mm -hmm. because once you land a defense break, all your ash run goes for that one specific monster, yes. which is bad for your team. No, no go. So I did go with the water sign, water mona, uh, water valk, and a water lap first, all right, to uh, help me speed through B8, get my gold up and running. So instead of another water valk, let's see another full farmable team. If you really want to save, uh, really want to spend a bit more time, I mean, you're spending quite a bit of time pay those ghosts anyways. Mm -hmm. So you're bound to find a large amount of water mona. So instead of uh, having the water valk there, you can actually go with water sign, double water mona, and a water lap. Hell, you can even go for this. Is, let's say fuck the water um, lap, all right. You can go for three water monas. Oh yeah. <laughs> so one water sign, three water monas. That B A run is just super fast, all right. So yeah. let's see. Here. I think my gems are still four star. No, no, no. My water sign is now six star gems because I wasn't using them for dragons, um, farmable dragon team wise. So it did work. It did work for B one, uh, B two. No. <laughs> uh, so yeah, six star gems. I usually had her at four. So the way I built my water sign was just straight up HP, HP percentage, HP percentage, HP percentage. Alright. Um, her, her, her recovery is more... Like, once you... Th those are for 4-star gems, right? Yeah, this, um, this is for a 4-star gem build. You want yeah. it, You want just HP... Triple HP? Triple HP for 4-star gems, yes. and once you get to 6-star, HP, HP recovery is fun. Alright, alright. Um, Definitely, so... So what, how would you gem your Monas, your... Uh, like, your other my monsters? Mona? Yeah. Okay, my Mona, I definitely, when I was using, um, oh, so she actually have a hybrid right now. Four star gem wise, HP flat, she's HP percentage now because she's level 50 with the over 19,000 HP. Um, mm -hmm. I was using HP flat, attack percentage, attack percentage. And I was using for Bagel's Coast and um, this dungeon specifically. So basically, yeah, all your Mona. basically um, at, like, where would you say generally um, for, for Water Mona? Like, would you rather use HP percentage over HP flat? HP flat was more of a level 40 kind of thing. So right. you can use either HP flat or HP percentage. I prefer the HP percentage. So for, uh, the, for, for the long term, you just want to upgrade the HP percentage gems and actually have that on her because you'll you'll eventually bring her to five stars, right? Yep. So once you hit five star HP percentage, more viable. Once you get to six star, you definitely want towards the HP percentage because she's going to have a huge HP base pull. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. I, I guess so. Um, so you, Compared I, to the water valve, though, so, uh, sorry for the interrupt, but the water I, valve, for example, the Evil 2 level 50 has below mm -hmm. 19,000, so the, the water valve definitely re, uh, prefers the HP flat gem instead. It's actually yep, quite HP interesting. Um, so, I see that you have the water valve. Did you choose her for your contract hero? Yep, I didn't use my water valve as my contract hero. Because um, this was before. B8 was changed. I was thinking I can use a water valve for B8 Gauntlets, but you know what? They changed it. Mm -hmm. I even benefit greater from that, so it was good for me, type of thing. So, uh, I, it, actually, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the contract comes out during Heroes Festival, whenever a Heroes Festival comes out. Like, that's when the contract actually begins? Uh, no. The contract starts for any new player that finished their. Like, once she finished. The Light Victoria contract, you start on the Heroes uh, contract. Oh, I see, right I see. That yeah. makes sense. So you do, have, you do have to have seven days in game consecutively before you start the Heroes contract. So it's a 21 day total, basically. Alright, so um, would you say it's possible to be rushing into B8 before you finish the contract, or...? It is possible, yes. yes. Alright. Depends on the amount of time that you farm. You do get it, like, let's say you're... If you're spending a large amount of time farming, um, then yeah. I think as a, like if you're willing to pay, pay even a little bit, then you definitely boost yourself a bit. 
Because the amount of stamina you get as a new player is extremely huge. Mm, that, that is true. Mm, so I guess for new players, the, the best thing would be to grab like grab the Water Valk when she comes out and start collecting Water Gleams. So when you actually get her, you can get her to Evil 3, something like that. Mm. Or water Evil 2. Valk, two yeah, I mean. Evil 2. I would oh. either say go with the Water Valk, because it's either the Water Valk or the Wood Odin is more towards progressing uh, mm -hmm. for new players. Because you can use the Wood Odin for B7, which is the yes. next harder difficulty in terms of B8, in my opinion. Um, because it for like you said, for B8, you can just have a Water Siren, Water Mona, Water Mona, Water Light. You don't need a Water Valkyrie near anywhere at all. Um, so, so I would highly recommend a Wood Odin if you can. So for like completely new players coming into the game, Wood Odin is actually more recommended than Water Valk? Yes sir, with this all new right. update. Okay, I see, I see. Um. Yeah, I guess you can. You should probably do a run. I don't know which team sure. you want to do it with. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to do it with the water valve because I don't have a fourth. Unless I just want to. Unless you oh, want yeah. to show with like a three man, but that's gonna take forever. And I just do not want to take forever. <laughs> yeah, just just run run it with the water valve. I mean, I think people get get the idea. Um, yeah, but the water lab would also build HP defense attack. I actually put an extra attack and jump in there just to get some DPS in. Or try to. Yeah, I was actually looking through shortcuts to like not catch so many so many Monas on my alt. I was trying <laughs> out like I, I wanted to try out weird random monster like the water brawn like that horsey thing. Uh, if you look at the kit, it's not as effective compared to what the fire brawn has to offer. Because the fire brawn, I would definitely like um, more towards um, beat night golems. The reason why I don't yeah. like the fire brawn in general is because it's single target, so it slows down. Quite a bit, but it can be used if you can try to get a variant lead. We can. That is true. Um, you know, I was just looking for shortcuts. I mean, obviously, <laughs> the best yeah. thing you could do is like just build a whole bunch of monas. And... Mm. Yeah, there's not that many water farmable ashmons that I, I highly recommend. I when I looked through it the first time, I made a whole Excel sheet on it, and I completely forgot where I put it. So. Um, I know for sure the only really good farmer ones would be the water lab, which hopefully you, people did not sell, throw all, throw oh away God. early to rebirth, because there have been people that done it and try to, they did, I did, I've done account reviews for people who threw away water lads, oh so, God. I, like, it, it wasn't really that hard for me to recover their entire account, because they were having problems trying to get to B7s, like, oh, that's easy, just make all these ash ones, you know, because B, B7 is different than B8, you don't really need a water lad, obviously, now, yeah. um, with the new Eight system, but having that water lap early is just saving resource, in my opinion. So yeah, that is true. It's also, in terms of, sorry, it's also ahead. very easy to get him to Evil Three. Like it's he's one of the easiest monsters to get to Evil Three for a three star. Oh, definitely, just because of the evil the the nat twos that you get in from Raj, um, Raj mm -hmm. ruins. Yeah, Raj ruins. Yeah. Um, with lats. And let's see, what else? What were you gonna in say? Oh yeah, in terms of like good evil, t like Nat 2 Water Ash ones, farmable wise, would be, and this is specifically built for tie-ins though, um, we're talking about like the Water Katines and the Water Lumo, because Water Lumo is attack up uh, Nat 2 healer, and Water Katines defense up Nat 2 healer, and I can't believe they actually put those two as Nat 2, but I can't really complain, because you really, I really like their 5 star skin, you know what, I even use a Water Katine on my Nat Six account, which oh, is yeah. worth, yeah, which is worth fifty thousand dollars, right? This is this is an account that was given to me, so just in case you guys think I spent fifty thousand dollars here, there's no way in hell. But <laughs> <laughs> I did use a water, I do use water katine. I'm planning on building a second water katine for my Nat Six account because they're amazing healers to have for time battles. But time battles are more of a progressive type where my entire guide actually prepares you for time battles because you're making so many different ash bombs in general. We're yeah, trying to, true. at least. So there it is, 2 minutes and 27 seconds. I mean, I can definitely speed this up once I get some more 6-star gems onto them and get them to level 60. Mm -hmm. But 2 minutes and 27 seconds, that's pretty fast for a new player, really. Yeah, for like a 5-star five five star team? Yep. Like, yeah, it's, it's really good. Alright, so... Alright, so that's pretty much it for B8, I think.